Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm going to create a Halloween project and before I start I wanted you to, to see three different dies by Sizzix and Tim Holtz. So I am planning to use all three of those dies to show you different projects and I am going to start today with the witch. But as you can see you get the haunted house as well as the trick and treat. And I am going to post another Halloween card tomorrow, so make sure to let me know which one of uh, the other two dies you want me to use. Now, for today I'm going to use this uh, witch, which I am in love with. I just had to use this one first, just because she has a cat. So I'm going to open it up for you, so you can see what's included. And I really love that they come in an envelope, so you can uh, uh, keep everything uh, nicely stored and organized. Now I'm going to bring a standard card and I'm going to place the witch on top, so you can see how big it is. It's uh, a great focal point, it's going to fill up the front of your card beautifully. And just because she is quite big, I think it would work perfectly as a focal point on an art journal or even on your scrapbooking projects. I used my Sizzix fold away machine to cut out the witch and the cut out of black cardstock and now I will go ahead and start creating my background. First I'm going to use my masking paper and I'm going to place on top one of my circles and this is going to help me create that glowing moon for my background. You can make your moon as big as you like. So I'm going to run it through and I'm going to work on a piece of watercolor paper, so this is the part where I got that. You will find it on the links down below. I am going to use my Distress Oxide inks and I find that they work beautifully on this type of paper. So I'm now going to peel off my masking and I'm going to place it on top of my uh, panel. And now I'm going to use my blending tools and start applying color around the moon. I'm going to start with my lightest color and that's Broken China. And again, that the inks I'm going to use are Distress Oxide inks. They are going to blend beautifully. And really, Distress Oxide inks make uh, blending uh, a really easy job. Now, once I saturate uh, my color enough, I'm going to move on to the darker color. Now, I have um, faded jeans. Again, I'm going to apply a first layer of color. I'm not going to cover up uh, all the broken china that I have around my moon because this is what is going to make my moon look as if it is glowing later on. So I can go ahead and saturate the color a little bit more. I can blend the two colors together. Now I will move on and add another color and uh, that's going to be seedless preserves. And uh, notice how once I apply it with my blending tool it's going to look awful. Don't panic, all those uh, round marks are not going to stay there. Distress Oxide ink is perfect for uh, inking, makes your job really easy as you can see. Remember I'm working on a watercolor paper which makes my job of blending really easy and another uh, tip that I can give you is that you can use that mixed media paper by Ranger. Those Distress Oxide inks work perfect on those as well. Now I am adding a little bit of black soot here to darken up my sky a little bit more. Again, I'm going back to the colors that I have, just making sure that I like how it looks, uh, making sure that everything is blended nicely, and I'm happy with how my sky is looking at the moment. And now for the moment of truth, I'm going to peel off the masking, and you will see how this moon looks as if it is glowing. Now I'm going to add a little bit of yellow inside my moon, but I'm not going to cover it up completely. So I have a jar with water and with a thin brush I'm applying a little bit of water, not all over my moon but just on uh, different areas. And now with uh, my yellow ink I'm going to apply a little bit of that in different areas of the moon, which is going to spread out just because I already have uh, water on top. Now just to darken up uh, a few areas I'm going to add a second color. For a darker touch I used Spiced Marmalade, so it's a tone darker than the first color and this is going to finish off my moon. In the die set there are stars that you can cut out and stick on your sky, but I decided to go ahead and add some uh, water splashes. I'm going to let them uh, stay there so they do their job with the Distress Oxide inks. 
Now I am ready to start assembling my card. I just want to show you that I have cut out three different sizes of uh, bats using the dice from the haunted house. Now when I place the witch on top of my card, she doesn't have a ground and I wanted to add a ground somehow so I brought in those uh, scrap papers that I had from cutting out the cat and the witch and I decided to use one of them at the bottom. So I'm going to cut it out. I used some uh, tape adhesive at the back, I'm going to stick it at the bottom and as you can see I won't use the whole piece. And I like how it's not perfect at the top, so it looks like a rock and it matches perfectly the rest of uh, my card. Now I'm going to use my scissors to cut off the excess. And now I can go ahead and start sticking everything on top of my background. Now I'm going to stick everything with my white glue and that's by Novo. I find that this glue is really easy to use with that fine tip applicator and uh, it never clogs. So just use a little bit so when you squeeze the um, uh, pieces on top of your card you don't see the glue coming out from underneath. Now I'm going to make sure that I place everything nicely there and um, then I will go ahead and stick the cut as well as the butts. Now I'm going to show you a very cool technique, for that I'm going to use a paper stamp, as you can see here, they come in different sizes, and uh, you can uh, scratch them on top of a standing paper, I have a standing block here, just to make sure that the tip of the stamp is uh, completely clean. And now I'm going to use this tool to pick up a little bit of ink, and I'm using peeled paint here, and I'm going to apply it on top of the ground. This is going to give the illusion that it is lighted by the moon and it's kind of glowing. And you can repeat the same idea on uh, her clothes. And for that I used uh, seedless preserves. I used spiced marmalade on the cut. And again only at the top and on one side of the cut. This technique gives a beautiful highlight and I'm able to do that just because I'm using Distress Oxide inks that sit on top of black paper. I'm going to ink up the edges with black soot again just to frame it a little bit more. Now for my card base I'm going to use this black velvet cardstock. This is has a satin finish, hope you can see that. And it's actually white on the back, which is great when you are creating card bases with this. Now this is by Tonic Studios and you will find a link down below. And there are many other colors in the range. Now I'm going to make sure that I cut it down to size, that's four and a quarter, and I'm going to fold it at five and a half, so I will end up having a standard card size. I'm going to use tape adhesive at the back and now I'm going to stick that on top of my card base and that panel is going to cover up completely the front of my card. For my sentiment I decided to go with a couple of stickers. This is a pad by Tim Holtz and it's the occasions one that has many different stickers perfect for many different occasions such as birthdays, Christmas, uh, Halloween, Valentine's Day and Easter and many more. Now these are stickers but as you can see I'm adding a little bit of white glue at the back just to make sure that these are going to stick nicely and they are not going to peel off in the mail. In Greece we don't celebrate Halloween but I do have many friends around the world who do celebrate and uh, I find it very fun and um, enjoyable to create such cards so I always make a few and send them out. So that was the card for today. I hope I inspired you to create a Halloween card with a glowing moon. You will find links to the products I used down below to both European and US online shops. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.